Hello, Internet! And today, firstly, I, uh, let's talk about the story, shall we? So I went to a barber shop thinking I want to actually live a better life. You know, I, I have no girlfriend, so I'm a loser. I, I look ungroomed. So I went and groomed myself in an Indian salon. The price wasn't ridiculous, so it was like a good deal. But the only problem was the barber was too charismatic, so I ended up talking to him a lot. And I think that just affected his ability to perform. Now, apparently, I just streamed yesterday and they told me, Twitch chat told me, my hair is fucked. You know what else I like to f I mean, you know what else I like to use in um, Epic 7? Celeste. Not gonna lie, my editor was like, yo, you wanna do a Celeste fit? I'm like, you know what? That's a good idea. What if I just built one? I mean, I use her in Arcade as well, so pretty cool unit. Insane speed. This is like the Giganta speed build. I don't know what Giganta is. So yeah, not even affecting us. Some ER somehow. I have no clue what this is. But I win races. And also, she does AoE. That means you can like, you know, chain her with maybe Alina. Fallen LGN is our opponent today. I'll turn you from Fallen L to an L that fallen even deeper. And we have our first team. I'm not gonna lie to you. I will lose this. You'll be a worse of an L from that L I took from the barbershop yesterday. The problem I have with this team is just that. I cannot kill the Ravi no matter what. But that's only if she's on Proof of Valor though. So surely she's not. I look at her. So smug. Surely. Okay, you know what? The fact that she's that smug, she's probably Proof of Valor. But whatever, man. I'm too lazy to think. We're gonna outspeed no matter what. And Celeste is like the full package here. I got a non-attack skill to buff Ida. I got an AoE to buff Alina. So this team is a valid, valid team. Now we're gonna say, oh, Flutica works here. But Flutica will never outspeed us too early, as you know what I mean? Round two, we got... One of the buffed up rangers. Dude, every rangers in this game is just the best unit. Land into the buffed up ranger. We're gonna sober in because we've got a steady and we are going to land the unbuffable. And that's the extent of my plan. Let's go. So I kind of just don't let them revive. Let's go Scala. Skull on this win I'm about to have. Right, I'm gonna start with Defcon, which gives me a tap of. It's just a shame because it doesn't give a tap of to anyone else. But you know what? We move. The moment she gets us, uh, what's the word? A... Specialty change, though. She'll go crazy. And this, I could get more damage, but let's be real, real here. It's a Celeste. Nobody cares. So this will go. We will proc Alina, which also procs Ida. And Ida here can actually just strip Rem, right? So that's like, you know, my, my plan. I don't know if it's going to work out. I'll do this. We'll strip. It's a proof of Valor Ravi. So no fear of Crimson Seeding, but a lot of fear in not killing. And it might actually be a counter Ravi as well, which I guess... Me having Alina just destroys it. So bang, and we did kill it somewhat, somewhat. I'm gonna solve this because I don't even know why would I save her so far. So let's go for this. I need to kill the Lilith soon as well. So there's a lot of like, you know, high priority kills right now. I am very horrified. And I have this again. What the? Oh, when the caster's health is 30, wait, 80 or more? Hold on, does not occur. Wait, does that mean I restricted the weight? I am my own enemy. Never mind. I thought I could just keep pushing him back, but well, now. I know I can't. All right, the only real way I'm gonna defeat this. There's no real way. <laughs> Wait, we already lost because I just don't do enough damage, no? Yeah, I don't think we win at all. Dude, oh, fuck. I guess we start by killing you because I kind of have to. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to. Oh, dude, this means she gets demon mode, though. Oh, no. I mean, she still can't counter. I got star blessing, right? Surely Celeste survives a Ravidu. Uh, I got S2, but they're restrict. Why am I handicapping myself? They're restrict. I could have just kept pushing them back and they couldn't do shit, but just not now. All right, I'll do this. I still got the star's blessing, so I'm fine, but let's be real here. We all know what's going to happen. Ugh, dude. Damn it! <laughs> okay. God damn it. Well, not much I can do there, but eh, this one I should just never lose, no? Like, they have all the immunity. Oh my god, this is just free real estate. Well, I'll do right here very quickly. Get the Brasserium attacking crit damage buff. Actually, now that I think about it, Celeste there. Had I have no restrict, I could have just kept pushing them back. I could have be uh, that could be like a funny way to, you know, control them. Wait, I, I might have some idea cooking in my head. I might try her with our Mintha. Right, that will go. Now you're gonna go with S3. You are not gonna kill a flag because I do have some bulk on and you have no buffs whatsoever. So there you have it. Now I am going to murder. Uh, I'm gonna murder the Rimuru. Hopefully, we push back the um, Senya, but it could just be ER Senya, which we'll see. And bang, it's not an ER Senya, so that's beautiful, but it's a counter. No, it's an Elbris Ritual Sword Senya. What is this? Charles brought me flashbacks. This must be what my grandpa feels whenever he listens to, like, you know, war songs. Right, so uh, I think uh, I think I think Flan dies no matter what. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. 
All right, I think we have them. Ho, ho. And boom, a 12k right there. Done. No revive. Like, that could have been Holy Saxon. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And that is a fire member. It does not matter. I just don't care about the revive. But today is about Celeste, guys. Today is about Celeste. Is there a way? Is there? Oh, I think there is, guys. I actually think there's a way here, but I just have to figure that out. There should be a beautiful way i can control the enemy but i just don't know how all right we'll do it we'll do it. I, I said i said it this year i will actually try and like you know try and do some good content again so for the content guys there's one underrated unit that seems to never be bothered with because the amount of energy that she brings this girl i'm gonna build her all right i don't know how this go but i do know i have less than 2.3k attack here we go in round one this should work but i gotta get lucky but if it works it'll look funny as fuck so let's let's just try it my end goal is to hopefully spam Celeste counter, uh, spam Celeste S2. Like, she pretty much has no cooldown as long as she doesn't get hit. So the only way I lose here is the moment I do S2 and our demon counters me. That's the only way I'm gonna lose, but if I don't, I'll get to spam her S2 constantly so I keep pushing them back while they're stunned by Aramitha or Ada. So yeah, it should be pretty funny if I can, like, make it happen. Hopefully I do. And there we have round two. We got, again, my favorite ranger right now. Honestly, like, come on, can you not relate to how dead inside she is? We got the Sober with the Calric. So yeah, ignore ER. And Calric's probably gonna reset the hand guy. To counter a Calric, you use a Calric. Right, so here we go. We are hopefully fine, but I can't say for sure. I will say, however, I might not even do volley yet. I'll just do S3 here. Because if I do volley, that Mercedes might go crazy. So what I'll do here, I'll just S1 this girl. And with a duel, why not? Now I'll do a Sober. So hopefully we strip here. In fact, if we don't strip, we could be fucked. And I do strip. So that's perfect. Now the question is, do I want absolute zero or no? I'm going to say probably not. No, I'm going to do it just, just to be sure. If I don't do it, then again, if I do it, I could just not stun the argument and she counters me. So, well, I guess that will not be an issue. <laughs> and now I do the stun. This is 100%. So I have a high chance of stunning these two characters right here. Although they might have ER, but I should stun them with no issue. Yo, look at that. Wait, this works though. This works beautifully. And now I have Bali. That Mercedes will never take a turn. If I'm correct, I'll just do this and push her back. Bang, I push her back. There you go. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm onto something here. Now I just need to make sure I kill this. Oh my god, Celeste go crazy. All right, we'll burn because there's no point saving anyway. We'll burn here. We'll do one more burn on hopefully everyone. And I do. So that's perfect. Now I have the volley again. But our demon is awake. Shit. I didn't think this through. Have I thought this through? Uh, no, I have not thought this through. Uh, wait. Now what do I do? Shit. If I do volley again, that thing's gonna counter me, no? So the only real thing that I could do since she's zero CR anyway is to do S1. I'll just do S1. Hopefully I try and just kill this little shitter. And here goes the burn. It's annoying that she cannot stun on, you know, none of these skills. So I'm kind of sitting duck right now. But I could solve in here. The question is, do I want to though? I don't think I do. I'll just do S1, I believe. Actually, no. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do sober. We'll push back our demon that way, and hopefully you don't count. Oh, no, no, not like this. Wait, I, I resisted. Don't you dare, Proc. Don't you dare. Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid, mom. I'm scared. Right, now I need to death break here. And I do land a death break. That burn kills you. And now I get to burn on a Raz, I think. Does this work? Okay, hopefully it does. We'll just burn it. Get the burn in, and we proc an extra hit. Gonna get another burn in, and that kills you. And now I have DEFCON, and hey, yo, wait, so Les is going crazy. Now I push her back again. If you counter here, I don't even think it matters anymore, even if you do, but if you don't, so there you go. I get the stun here. Yo, what a team this is. There's about approximately 26,000 ways to defeat my team, but that is not the point. I'll do this. It's already over. Even if she spams counter right now, I should kill her with a bird. And we're gonna end it with another volley. Let's do it, Celeste. And we're gonna push you back again, dude. You're not gonna get a turn. Yeah, sure, bro. Counter, go crazy. Okay, maybe you don't go that crazy. May hey, yo, chill. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Holy shit. Stupid character, dude. Why does he even get a CR push when she procs, man? But we won. So that's all that matters. Now we have a chess card game. Right, so we should land all the unbuffable, all the everything. And there should not be a Warhorn Horn proc right now. Because we have not taken a third turn. So there we go. That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna have to... Uh, really think yeah i gotta have to really think about this do i s2 or s3 you know what i might uh, no yeah no no yeah s2 to touch a hang guy you use a hang guy so bang that's dead can't be revived and for some reason I i'm not sure maybe you do a replay did he resist all my reset or no <laughs> 
touch a hand guy, you use a hand guy. I swear to god, somehow I saw like a vision in my head and I was like, wait, did that guy just resisted all of my reset as a hand guy? Right, push him back with a death break. Now we'll do the S3 with attack buff and speed buff. So this will go crazy. If we could have the that's GG's as well, but we don't. Unlucky. Yeah, what about we land a silence though? Lol, wait. <laughs> you are so, so dead. Right, this might just kill you. Oh my god, top 30 to be Briar Witch. Honestly, Briar Witch is Syria? How has nobody abbreviated her name to just bitch Syria? Yeah, why did they say Bri Syria? But not bitch. Okay, I'll I'll stop dissing somebody's waifu. But then again, do you treat her as a waifu? Like out of the millions of skimpy characters with high bigger boobs and slimmer waist, you pick a dead inside woman. I mean, I ain't gonna judge. She's pretty hot. Round one. Let's do some cool shit that I've never done before. We have Zaha, a newly built character. Actually, I've not had an actual built Zaha ever. Now this is my first time actually having her, uh, actually having him have a gear. You know, that's not just for a showcase. And I've got a Straze. This is actually a, a newly built Straze as well. We got the Torrent Straze. Gosh damn, I am such a whale. And we have a new Sid. It's a it's a new gear Sid, but. I sort of have too much speed on, but you know what? It works. The idea here is just omega damage. Like, the amount of damage I'll dish to their faces will be bigger than the amount of milk I would put on a Rami's face. I mean, just the actual drinkable milk, guys. Stop fucking... Ah, dude. Round two. This is the penultimate test for Celeste. We got eight speed imprint for Sid and um, Summertime, but we have 10 speed imprint for Celeste. Now, I'm sure there are going to be people in the comments going, oh, wait, Celeste don't get her own imprint. Or there might be some people going, oh, Celeste would get her own imprint. Listen, she doesn't get her own imprint, and I don't need her own imprint. I would just outspeed a Zeo. Are you mad? <laughs> Do you mean, why you mad? Right, if I outspeed a Zeo, it would be such a BN though. Alright, so now, usually how I play a cop like this, it's actually from, you know, a guy in Twitch chat and a guy in Discord. He's kind of everywhere in every Twitch chat and every Discord. Wait, basically it's a hard Straze and then Sid, and you kind of just win. I, I don't really, I haven't really asked too much about it, like, you generally kind of just win. This will probably one shot if I'm being real with you. Alright, maybe we get close, but not just a... It got real close. And now I'll do an S3. The idea as well is with the amount of invincibility that this team gets, it's pretty safe for Cleave. So you're gonna go with this. If anyone survives, you'll have like an evasion acid with all invincibility units. So it's not like they could do anything. And now we have a gap acid. It's gonna absolutely murder this Mortelix into a new to a newborn. World got hit so hard he reincarnated into another anime. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste, go crazy. I'm gonna go with DEFCON first. DEFCON sounds like a TwitchCon for deaf people, but now we'll do the volley. Now, I am afraid that this thing is not 100%, which I don't understand why. It does a 100% pushback, so it's always a risk, but I guess for this, uh moment it actually propped perfectly did everything for me actually propped perfectly what the hell the bombs landed perfectly jesus and i don't actually have to kill them i don't actually have to do s3 as well because there's an edward there that's always you know it's kind of dangerous as well so what i'll do is i will put another bomb on you that you blatantly and somehow resisted now i'll have a sit that hopefully kills the edward which i think i could it's gonna be a little bit close oh Fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not good. Are we... We have a shot here. We have a shot here. We have a shot here. This will go. It will stun only Celeste. Wait, you don't stun Celeste? Wait, what? This will go... Wait, wait. Am I losing? All right, if you're not Secret Scythe, I'm fine. So don't be Secret Scythe and you're not Secret Scythe. Wait, I win. Yo, Celeste survives. Uh-huh. I guess I'll try and kill the... Zeo that just resisted again. I have 200 effectiveness, dude. Okay, bro. Wait, I might have just lost because of that. Wait, not sure. Not quite sure yet, but we'll do this. And okay, we lost the DEFCON. I mean, we lost the volley though. I mean, I can still use it this turn, but you know, I won't be using it next turn, which is fine. I'll do as one for now. I'll save the AOE for when I want to plant a bomb. So bomb in here and I'm gonna... What is going on, dude? You have 200 ER. Like, how do I even plant the first bombs then? Whatever, man. Surely you plan- What? 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 I'm not good at math, but somebody calculate this shit. Now you plant the bomb, so that's, that was all 15%? That can't be real, dude. Oh, I heal up there? What the fuck? I never knew that, but what I do know is you should have died like two years ago, Solitaria. The amount of bombs you've evaded. Holy shit. All right. Let's see if you resist this one, and you don't. Yeah, you don't even have ER, you just somehow... F okay, you maybe, you maybe you do have ER. But still, you have like, what, 150 ER in a Solitaria? What are you smoking? Alright, so that was Celeste. Not gonna lie, I'm using her in 
Guild War, which is kind of cringe. Usually her best slot is like RTA, but yeah, this build is what I have on. Pretty cool because, you know, I mean, if you have crit, that's even better and, and effectiveness as well, as well, but I don't have those two. You know, it's so hard to get the right side pieces already with high speed, and then you need to get the right main stat. It's just impossible. And yeah, I'll show you a couple of fights where Celeste did well, and it's usually just speed races, to be honest. And what do you know? Literally right here, we got a Celeste game. So essentially what happened here is he prepared and picked not a lot of imprints, and I have three imprints because Celeste herself is also, also an imprint and an opener so i have two imprints for flit and i have one imprint for herself and she's giga speed anyway and, and d and i'll spend them all so pretty cool unit and i activated alina as well with the aoe so yeah there we have it that was celeste hope you guys enjoyed take care